Today MTD are at NCMT and I'm here with Richard. Now Richard, you've got uh, an automated cell here behind you. Can you tell me about this cell? Yeah, so this is our Akuma Genos uh, L3000 machine. Uh, so from this Akuma range, it's our affordable excellence range machine. So it's our entry level machine. Uh, very, very powerful spindle uh, and uh, at an affordable price. That then is coupled with the cell row robot system. So it's a three draw uh, flexible automation system. So it allows us then to load multiple different components into those drawers that can then be automated with the machine. What kind of benefits will the end user get with a cell like this? Uh, the, the benefits really, as I said, then flexibility. So they can load a multitude of different parts in this same system, uh, but this also the same system. We can actually lift this up and take it to another machine, drop it down and use it on another machine very easily as well. Now, there's a huge emphasis on automation in the UK at the minute. You know, why is it so important that end users embrace automation in your opinion? Uh, it's, uh, people are going that way now. What they're trying to do is take away the, the, the labour from the, from the operator, you know, loading that machine up. Take that away so we can concentrate on more important things. It's not about getting rid of that person. It's about making, it, uh, making them available to do other parts inside that factory. You know, make it more productive uh, the run through of their machines. We always discuss the complete solution. And on this demonstration, You've been trialling the, the Bison Quick Change Chuck. Now, how are the trials gone? They're going really well, Gio. You know, this, this Bison Quick Change Chuck, the reason we use Bison is because it's well-renowned within the, the Akuma industry as well. So us providing the Akuma machines, it's a real solid bit of kit, you know, reliable, and that's what you need. Now, the actual cell is automated, the parts are being automated, but with this chuck, you can also automate setups. Now, how unique is this and how important is this? How can this be utilised? Yeah, I mean, we've looked at it in the past for various different customers. So, not, you know, automating the changeover, that's the other element of this automation. Not a lot of people make mass production of parts, put automation in, and when you start to look at this sort of instance where we're sort of talking about high mix, low volume, you want to be able to automate the changeover as well. So, for instance, this has got a three drawer system. We could have three lots of different components in there and then possibly do a changeover of the drawers in the same setup. So, the robot can come in, utilise the same key mechanism to extract a drawer and change it over to a different drawer. Richard, thank you. No problem.